Joining me now is Ava Mraz. She is an environmental specialist and environmental assistant with the Secaucus Environmental Department. Uh, Ava, thanks for uh, being with me today. Of course, thanks for having me. I want to talk about uh, something that that infested the state of New Jersey uh, last summer. Um, and what needs to be done moving forward as the weather gets warmer so the same thing doesn't happen again. Um, I'm talking about the spotted lanternfly. So first of all, for people that weren't familiar with it last year, this little critter attacks trees and plants and whatever. Explain to us a little bit about the bug itself. So the spotted lanternfly is an invasive pest that's native to Asia. It came here um, it was first seen in Pennsylvania in 2014, and since then the population has kind of exploded. Um, they take the nutrients out of trees, which slowly kills them, and it's been a huge issue. I believe in Pennsylvania it's causing $324 million worth of crop damage annually so far. So how bad was the issue last summer in, in Secaucus and in Hudson County in general? So Hudson County actually wasn't that bad. Hudson was not one of the 13 quarantine counties in the state of New Jersey. There are a lot of other counties that did have it a lot worse that I did see, but I know that this summer is going to be a lot worse than the last. Okay, you've put together a, a short video uh, about this and what people should be looking out for and, and how they go about killing uh, these, these bugs, their, their egg sacs. So let's take a look at that video right now. The spotted lanternfly is an invasive species that destroys trees and woodlands by taking nutrients out of trees. You've helped us stomp out the spotted lanternfly. Now it's time to take out their egg masses. We're going to show you how to do that. Not to be confused with lichen, the egg masses are about an inch and a half long. They look white when they're first laid, then turn a gray or brown color. Destroying one spotted lanternfly egg mass is the equivalent of stomping out 30 to 50 adult spotted lanternflies. To remove them, you can crush the eggs with a stick, making sure all of the cells in the egg masses are destroyed, or scrape them off into a plastic bag filled with isopropyl alcohol. It's important to destroy as many egg masses as we can before they're set to hatch in the spring. Any questions or spotted lanternfly eggs on your tree, call me or go to ccaucusnj.gov slash trees. Okay, so people had a good opportunity to kind of learn about uh, the bug and see the way you will be attacking you the, the way the uh, municipalities and, and homeowners can attack uh, the bug. Let me ask you this. Um, are there any specific trees that the spotted lanternfly are more commonly uh, attacking or is it just one or two species of trees? Okay, so the native trees that it really likes are black walnut, honey locust, sumac, and maples. Um, I have seen them on a few other native trees, but the tree that it's primarily on is the Olanthus, which is not a native tree. That's also native to Asia, so the spotted lanternfly recognizes that as its main host plant. So how bad was the situation in Secaucus last summer? Um, the situation was definitely bad. We definitely had a few hot spots where we saw a few thousand. Um, the best way to attack them is to get the eggs because they're not jumping around in their nymph or adult stage. Um, so we prefer to get them in the winter by destroying the egg masses when possible, and then we worry about the nymphs earlier in the spring. So the spotted lanternfly, would they have laid their eggs prior to the autumn and winter starting and then they mature as the spring comes about or are they going to be laying them when the weather gets a little bit warmer as we approach spring? Good question. So they already laid their eggs. I believe they started in October or November. So we've been out there kind of destroying them since then, but there's still so many. They're set to hatch sometime in the spring, I believe um, late April, early May, depending on the weather. Uh, but we did do an experiment with the middle school where we put a few egg masses that we took off trees, like we removed the bark and put them in a fish tank. And those already hatched because they were warm inside. So we never really know um, when they're going to come out. What's the lifespan of one of these bugs once they, they do hatch? Well, it's interesting because here in New Jersey, um, they die off in the winter. But once they move to the warmer states like Florida and everything, um, it's going to be a lot more difficult because it won't have that overwinter period where the adults die off. 
Okay, so um, you said earlier that uh, the situation overall in Hudson County last year wasn't that bad. Um, where in comparatively, Sa yes, right. Where in Secaucus would you say are, are for lack of a better term, the, the hot spots where they've been attacking? Is it is it more in the area we've got more more trees? Uh, the areas out by um, uh, the high school, let's say, as opposed to um, on the other side of Route Three. Um, you know, the downtown area, do they tend to congregate where you have more trees or will they attack an area where you've just got like a, a tree every so many feet down a sidewalk in a, in a residential area? Right. So they are kind of sporadic sometimes, but most of the time they like large groups. They kind of like lay their eggs on top of each other. Um, it gets worse over time. So I'm sure next year it'll be because they each egg mass has 30 to 50 babies in it. So each spotted lanternfly can lay one to two egg masses. So for each adult there was this year, there could be up to 100 babies for each one. All right, so uh, it sounds like they can be uh, very uh, much of a pest. <laughs> um, final question, what would the best advice you could give uh, to, to people um, that might be seeing this uh, as far as, you know, when they see these, you know, they, we've seen the video, you explained in the video, how people can destroy these. What's the best advice you have? So the thing that I can say is I would familiarize yourself with um, all the stages of the spotted lanternfly because I, I've i seen news coverage on the adults and everything. I have never seen new news coverage on um, the egg masses or the nymph stages when they're babies and people often can't recognize them like that. So I think it's important for everyone to know what they look like so that they can take the proper measures to get rid of them. Hey, Ava, thank you very much. Uh, good information. I appreciate you being here on Hudson TV. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too.